Morning guys, uh, we're gonna do a shed slash coyote trip. I don't know if you watched the video from last year. It probably wasn't the same weekend, but it was pretty close. It's close, it was way close. So anyway, we went down last year, hit a spot in the desert country um, where we always find the sheds from our second to last video, I think it was, um, from the road. And we did pretty good, but obviously we missed one because the one we found this year was two years old. So we're gonna go back down, hammer some more country out, make a few stands, and uh, hopefully get a bobcat again because I got one last year. So and have a good video camera this time, not my cell phone. Yeah, we videoed it with his cell phone last year, so but we got it. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, running a little bit late, but it doesn't really matter too much. For it's more of a shed trip than a coyote trip. Coyotes are just the bonus. So wish us luck. Well, guys, get ready to start the hike. It looks like I got a buttload of dirt on my lens. And I'm packing the 204. Super light with that carbon fiber barrel on it. So, uh, yeah, going to hopefully get another coyote or two. Last time, what, I got one and a bobcat, right? I think so. Should have had two, but I missed one with the AR. Yep. So, yeah. Got the pack all loaded up. Got some water, some food. Probably won't need the scope, but might be doing some glassing for sheds, so. Yeah, hopefully we can find something. All right guys, you wanted to watch me shoot on video? Well, Ashton's gonna film, so. It's not Garrett filming, so he'll actually probably get it, but I'll hear a shit out and <clears throat> see a lot of coyote tracks and stuff, so we'll make a stand and see what happens. Really? This is the second time out here now looking for sheds. I've called him a bobcat. Didn't want to have to shoot that one twice, but <clears throat> I think I hit him in the face that second one and the first one. I just think I just grazed him again. That's two bobcats out here now. Nice. <laughs> well, let's go get it. I find my brass. We had the nice camera, so heck yeah. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> All right, guys, this is just ridiculous. So I bet Ashton and I, I mean, we've mainly shed hunt together, but we've made a few stands out screwing around. I bet we've made, what, 10, 12 yeah, stands? Somewhere. And you've seen, what, three bobcats come in with three me now? Three bobcats. Three bobcats in, like, 12 stands making with me. That's ridiculous, guys. And only two coyotes. Yeah, and two coyotes. Let's go get this thing. And let's see blood. There it is. Yeah, right in the face, dude. That's a pretty good sized cat, man. <laughs> Definitely hit him right in the face. There's a chunk of meat. Looks like maybe from the first shot. I don't know where that first one even hit him, dude. He jumped. I mean, it took him a second to catch the bang, but... Oh, definitely destroyed the face on that one, guys, but it didn't destroy anything else. Oh, damn it. I freaking grazed him. That's right, that's a fixable hole right there. So I'm still not sure how I hit him right here because I was actually sitting to the right side of the cat a little bit. Not sure how I hit him on the left side with him facing like that, but I think I might have hit a piece of grass or something just in front of him. Yeah, I was trying to shoot him in the that, that shot, guys. Like when they're facing you like that, the last thing you want to do in a bobcat is hit him down here and blow that whole belly out. That's where all the money comes from on the fur is the belly. Last thing you want to do. So I was trying to shoot him. All I could see was the top of him. So I was trying to hit him like right here. And that first shot just freaking grazed him. Dang it, dude, that blew a big old hole. That's right. I can fix that. That'll pull back up pretty good and look pretty good. Yeah, Looked like it pretty well zipped him, so. But all that is good. Hold that. That's a big cat, dude. That's way bigger than the last one. Look at that thing, guys. That's a big freaking cat. How did I get two bobcats out of here? Dude, that's ridiculous. I don't know. I'm your lucky charm when it comes to bobcats. Shit, man, I'd say, look at that thing. Look at that. That's freaking awesome, guys. 
lucky bobcat charm right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's two stands in a row. Bobcat on the last one. Got a coyote coming freaking back doors it could get right here. I don't even think he was touching the ground when he came over the ridge. I'm pretty sure saw a floating coyote come over the ridge. He was coming so fast and got him stopped just before this rise back here on the other hillside. If he would have gotten any closer, we wouldn't have never got him. Must have had the shotgun on. I ain't packing two guns while I'm shed hunting. So cross country coyote calling. Made it half mile, maybe three quarters from the last stand and sat down on the wash and made another one. We'll get down here another half, three quarters and see if we can do it again. <laughs> now I gotta find him. I don't even know where he's at. Pretty good sized coyote for this country. He's got some really cool color to him. Nice. That freaking thing wasn't even touching the ground, man. Well, guys, I guess I can shoot. I always got to shoot my bobcats twice, which sucks. But... Oh, you know what? I saw that I thought was blood. What was that little cactus? Yep. I thought I saw blood back here on him, but no, it's. That's a pretty coyote, man. Yeah, I hit him just perfect. So, this is what you like, guys. There's not even a freaking hole in him. Like. I can't even tell where I hit him, honestly. I really can't. Like, I think I hit him right here. Was he facing you? Uh-huh. I seriously can't even find a hole. A little bit of blood, but I think that's from... his mouth. So, yeah. You guys want to save fur when they're facing you? you shoot them right there. It almost never exits. It, as long as you don't get a grazing shot, you're good. Like I said, I can't even find a hole in him. It's just blood from on the ground again. And he's definitely dead. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta find a place to try and skin this thing. Where am I supposed to do that out here? Uh, There's nothing. Houston. All right, guys, we're going to take a pause right here. So I was doing short stands because I was only about a half a mile in between. So I figured 12 to 15 minutes is about all I'm going to do. Well, at about 14 minutes, I was just getting ready to stand up, and Ashton says bobcat. And I'm like, no effing way is there another bobcat. And it took me about two minutes to figure out where it was at because he was just sitting behind a bush about as back door as you could get. I don't know if I got it on film, but that's two bobcats. Totally offside. Totally downwind. <laughs> Had to move my bipod. Looking straight at me. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? I don't know if I got it on film. I had it rolling and shooting that way, but... That's bobcat, coyote, bobcat. That's your fifth one now? The fifth bobcat. Coming to us, you've seen what, three coyotes now? Three coyotes. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna spend more time skinning things than we are anything else. Today. <laughs> no effing way, dude. There he is. Yeah, he ain't near as big as the last one, but at least I haven't had to hit one. He's sure pretty, though. Still a good cat, though, man. Well, guys, you've got to be kidding me. That's, like I said, Bobcat. Coyote, bobcat, three stands in a row. Like, half mile apart is all. It just looks like bobcat country. I had to make one right here and came in straight downwind. Bobcat's apparently the second one this year we've got that just doesn't care about the wind, but had to turn totally offside. Like, I guess it was my onside, but far enough to where it was becoming my offside. So, yeah, another good looking cat, man. He's, he's pretty. He's small, but he's pretty. Not near as big as the last one, but still. Ah, kind of blew him up a little. I knew I could probably hit him a little bit low. Still, though, that's not bad. That could definitely be a lot worse. He's really dark, man. He's dark. Really dark. When he came over the hill, I was like, huh. Crazy. 
Let's, let's go walk over there. Screw sheds, man. <laughs> we came out here to find sheds. We haven't had a single shed. Saw so two little bucks and what? Six does? Six does. And hardly any deer sign. We saw some deer in here last year. That's why we came back. But whatever, man. That's two bobcats and a freaking coyote. I'll take it. Well, we came out here to shed hunt and we haven't found any sheds yet. We've made five stands now. First one was dry. Second one we called in a bobcat. Third one we called in a coyote. Fourth one we called in another bobcat. And then we just got done with the fifth one and nothing. But we are in the same two square miles. So it's like all kind of canyony country, but we just need to find a freaking horn now. We uh, saw two little bucks and I think two different groups of does, about six apiece in them. So there's deer in here, just not very many, but we knew that. So hopefully we can find a few sheds. Well guys, into day one, zero sheds, one bobcat, a coyote and another bobcat. So not a bad day, but it is ridiculously warm. It is January 6th and I'm sitting in a t-shirt at night at almost eight o'clock. Last time we came down here, it was what? End of February? Mm -hmm. And it was as cold as it could ever be. Um, probably like 16, 18 degrees in the morning and yeah. Now I'm sitting here in a t-shirt. Weird. Be sure to tune in next week for the second day of the trip. It was almost as good as the first.